guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Abigail Flowers and I'm a jazz vocalist and Lanakai ukuleles artist living in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I'm going to teach you a 12 bar blues in the key of D major along with a D blues scale you can use to play over top the 12 bar blues. At the end, I'll have a special guest join me for a play along section that you can use for practice. You're all probably familiar with the sound of the blues, but it's also important to learn the history of the blues and how it's influenced the rest of American music. So I'm linking a great video from PBS about the history of the blues in the description of this video. I strongly recommend you watch that video before finishing this one and spend some time this week looking into the history of blues and all the music that it's influenced. Let's go ahead and get started. A 12 bar blues can be a great exercise for beginners because it only uses three chords. We would call them the one, four, and five chords. And in the key of D, that's a D chord, G chord, and A chord. In blues styles, you're usually going to hear those chords as seven chords. So D7, G7, and A7. As we learn our 12 bar blues today, D and D7, G and G7, and A and A7 will be interchangeable. For simplicity's sake, I'll always display the chord diagram for the seven chord, like D7, G7, and A7, but you're welcome to insert D, G, and A as you like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on bell notifications if you wanna know next time I post a tutorial. So let's look at those chords. You might already know a D major chord, which is open, second fret, third fret, second fret. To make a D7 chord, we sort of flip that shape on its head. So it's going to be open, second fret, first fret, second fret. You probably also know a G chord, which is just Open, 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 third fret. To make that a G7 chord, we play open, 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 first fret. Last, we have the A and A7 chord. Our A chord is played 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, open. And A7 is 2nd fret, open, 2nd fret, open. So let's talk about the form of a 12 bar blues. A typical 12 bar blues will be in 4-4 four, four time, which means that there are four beats in each measure. The term 12 bar means the same thing as 12 measures. So we'll have four beats per measure and 12 measures in total. A typical 12 bar blues starts with four measures of the one chord, which in this case is D or D7. Then we have two measures of the four chord, which in this case is G or G7, then back to two measures of the one chord, which is D or D7. We finish out the form with one measure of the five chord, which is A7, one measure of the four chord, which is G7, and two more measures of the one chord, which is D or D7. One simple variation on this form would be to play the five chord in the last measure. Finishing out the form with the A7 is going to make it feel more like the form is restarting, but that's totally optional. If you'd like to learn more or try one-on-one -on -one lessons, you can find me at patreon.com slash abigailflowersmusic. So here's what the chords sound like in context. One, two, three, four.
The strumming pattern I used here will be familiar if you've watched my other videos. It just goes down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up. Let's slow that down. Down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up. As I always say, do whatever is most comfortable to you. When you're learning new chords, it can be great to simplify your strumming pattern to just one strum per measure or one strum per beat. It's really hard to learn several things at once, so I would recommend focusing either on your chords or your strum pattern and then bring both things together once you're comfortable. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've learned something. Now I'm going to show you a D blues scale. Think of this as like a starter pack of notes that you can use over a 12 bar blues in D. There are all kinds of creative ways to make melodies over a 12 bar blues, and this is just a starting point. The notes in this D blues scale will be D, F, G, G sharp, A, C, and then D again. We'll find D and F on our first string. So open D, F is on our third fret. Then we'll move to the next string, which is the G string. And this is where we'll get our G, G sharp, and A. So we've got open G. Our first fret is G sharp. Our second fret is A. Then we'll move to the third string, the B string. This is where we'll find C and D. Our C is on the first fret, and D is on the third. So all together we have D, F, G, G sharp, A, C, and D. That scale probably sounds pretty familiar because a lot of riffs in American music are built off that scale. The idea is that you can take the notes in a D blues scale and use them to create your own melodies over the chord progression for a 12 bar blues. It's called improvising when you make up your own melodies on the spot. But you can also plan your melodies ahead and even write your own blues song. Again, I highly suggest watching the video linked in the description to learn more about the lyric form of a 12 bar blues. Now we're going to move on to the play along portion. I'm going to play through the 12 bar blues several times and you can practice along with me. You might practice your strumming, you might practice your chords, or you might practice improvising a solo using the D blues scale. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see more play along videos. For this play along section, I have invited my very handsome assistant, my husband, Quentin Flowers, to play along with me. You may recognize him from Jazz Brunch on YouTube Saturdays at 11 a.m. Central. So we're gonna play the 12 bar blues several times through. The first two times, we'll play a straight 12 bar blues. And then on the third time through, we'll add the five chord or the A7 in the last measure. The fourth time, we're gonna switch it up a little bit just for fun. So hang with us if you can, but if not, you can always rewind to the beginning of this section. You'll also notice as we play this, I'm going to switch between D major and D7, G major and G7, and so on. I'll put the chords on the screen and you can just play the seven chords or you can switch back and forth with me if you'd like. Let's get started.
guys so much for watching, and I'll be back on Thursday with another video. Do you want a snack for after? I'll get a snack after. Thank you. I love you too.